Next up, we'd like to talk about the Apple Watch. We're excited to introduce Watch OS 5 today, which brings even more ways for you to stay active and connected. And I'd like to hand it off to Kevin Lynch to tell you all about it. Kevin? Good morning. And finally, runners will now get cadence, so you can see your current steps per minute. We're really excited for runners to try these cool. out. Now let's talk about being connected. Apple Watch enables you to remain in the moment while also easily connected to the people and information that you care about. Now we're also bringing a number of improvements to notifications, which are now more actionable and interactive. Okay. So for example, with this notification from Qantas, you can check in and share your flight details right from the notification. After you finish a ride with Didi, you can scroll down, you can rate your ride and pay with Apple Pay right there in the That's notification. That's very useful. And with this one from Yelp, that your table is ready, if you need a bit more time, you can extend the reservation out a bit just by tapping here. So super easy now to interact right in place inside notifications. That's cool. We've also improved our message notifications. Today, if someone sends you a web link, you aren't able to view it on your wrist. With watchOS 5, we've integrated WebKit. So now you have the ability what? to view web content in mail or messages. You can even tap on that link. Yes, and to easily view things like menus here. And while we think full browsing doesn't make sense on your wrist, there are times you get content, you'd like to see it right in the moment, and now you'll be able to do that in watchOS 5. And the contents can be formatted for the small screen, and where reader mode's available, it uses that on the watch. So WebKit on watchOS. So does that mean we have a new breakpoint? Hey, internets. So yeah, I just got done watching the WWDC. I've joked about this in the past where we'll have to start making websites for Apple Watches, but it actually became a thing. So as web designers, is this our new breakpoint? Is this what we'll have to start designing for? I wondered what would it look like? building that one-off page on my website just to see how it would work, it got me thinking, how will people actually browse on their watches? Will people actually use the web browser in their watches? So as a designer, I thought, okay, so one use case I can clearly see this useful for is like if you meet another designer and uh, next thing you know, you're just casually having drinks and the other person says, oh, and you can check out my stuff at da 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 dot com. And you know you don't write it down, you don't jot it down your phone, but uh, you say, okay, I'll remember it or something like that. But after the night, you totally forget the person's name and their web address. So what if you can just say the web address on your watch and then it pulls up something like what I just built? So you would have like instant links to their social media channels, their email or whatever, just make buttons, whatever. But I also thought, wouldn't it be cool if, and I don't know if Apple Watch does this now, but you can press a button and it adds that website with a f name and phone number, email, everything like that as a contact on your iPhone. Or another thing would be cool, you press a button and it says, remind me to email this person that I just met when I get back home or back to the office. But besides that, mm, I don't know. I would really like to see how this turns out. What do you guys think? What do you think will happen for this new breakpoint that we're going to eventually have to design for? Leave those comments below. So that's just my thought on the watch OS and WebKit being on it. Until next video, 
make the web smaller? See ya.